Being the world's top spy is keeping the secret. I have to go on an important mission. I mean, Erin. From her kids. There's something she's hiding from us. Looks like we've been set up. Spy Kids 4, 4D, it's about to come out. Here with us, producer Elisabeth Avellan. How are you, Elisabeth? Doing great. Very excited, excited, huh? Very excited. Tell me a little bit about the 4D experience. What, what is it about? Well, um, the film, you know, 3D, you put the glasses on. 4D, mm -hmm. now um, the smell, you use your sense of smell. And uh, they're going to give you, when they give you the glasses, they'll give you a little card at the theater. And uh, it's a scratch and sniff card that the movie will tell you, will give you instructions on where, when to scratch and sniff each one of the, the smells. And some of them are candy smells, obviously, and then yeah. some other ones. There's just, let's just say there's a baby. There's a, a baby diaper. in the movie. <laughs> okay, can you imagine what that's going to smell like? And there's that's a couple other ones. There's a wonderful dog that's very funny. Uh, Ricky Gervais did the voice, and uh, the, very, the kids and the dog and, and the baby just make the movie really special. And of course, it's a movie packed with action, and if you have followed the, the, the whole series, you've noticed that it has some scent, uh, sense of, of, of being Latino, and, and that brings us to, to the next topic. It's very important to have role models that are not only intelligent, but cool. That's and these kids are cool. Their families are cool. Their, their families are cool, and they're spies also. So, and the, you know, and the, the message is to be able to use your mind and your and your brain and and, and all to get out of situations instead of gadgets. And you know that family is important, and that working together is important. And that you know, uh, you never know what life is going to throw at you, but you got to figure it out and uh, to use your imagination. But it is we're very proud. Both Robert Rodriguez, the writer, director, producer and myself are both la Latinos and we are very proud of being Latinos. We want to create real quality showing what our people can do. I came here as an immigrant at 13 years old not even knowing the language and my, my uh, uh, and, and Robert lived in San Antonio. He grew up in San Antonio also Latino so we have come from very different experiences but at the same time both of us want excellence and want to see excellence in our in our people and are trying to create that. So this movie Spy Kids 4 actually what uh, what it does is to to make you feel wonderful about being Latino, yet integrated to this world that we're living in. Correct. Yes, Calva plays the, the stepmother to these two kids, and uh, she has uh, a little baby that she's just had with uh, her, her new husband, Joel McHale. And, uh, you know, she's the mom, the, the spy mom that can do anything and protect her stepchildren and protect her child, and at the same time get her job, get the job done and get the bad guys. I recall that breakfast scene with um, Danny Trejo in Spy Kids 1. Wonderful. He's serving this very Mexican breakfast, and if you're not Latino, you're like, what are they eating? <laughs> and it's so interesting. Do you have any scenes like that in this movie? A little bit. I mean, you, you don't see them. So it, it, the movie starts, but there, there are moments that, yeah, they're, they're eating certain things, or they're, you know, you see things that are Latin in the, in the, uh, in the scope of what we understand as Latin, you know? But it's beautiful. That and way. it's a fun movie. Again, it's a movie where you see the role models. The, the, the thing of being Latino, it's perfectly integrated where if you're not Latino, you don't even, it yeah, doesn't even bother you. It doesn't bother you at all. No, because it's, a, it's about the universality of the story. We, we try to make universal stories in all of our films, not just our kids' films or Spy Kids specifically. You know, it could have been, it could have happened anywhere in the world. The first one could have been, what, you know, kids, uh, Caucasian kids, not Latino kids. And the we decided to make that Netflix. happen because Netflix. we knew that it was a uni universal theme of family, universal theme of fun and action and adventure. And uh, but at the same time, put our names and our people in it and. Uh, you know, there were many little girls who could say, my name is Carmen, and they were so proud. <laughs> exactly. Now they're proud of, uh, <laughs> yeah, of, of even their names. Um, uh, Elizabeth, in between these four movies, uh, you've been doing other, other things as well. Yes. Having kids. <laughs> Having children. Six kids. No. <laughs> yes. That makes you very Latina, I have to say. Yes. <laughs> but other than that, uh, you've been producing other movies as well. Yes. Yeah, so we, well, we do also the, you know, the uh, more adult movies. We did Machete last year, Predators. Um, uh, with director Nimrod Antal, Robert and I uh, produced that one. And I also have been producing other films, uh, you know, uh, a Christmas movie that I just finished and uh, trying to show it actually today, the screening today. Great, so good luck with that. And uh, don't forget, um, Spy Kids 4, 4D opens up in 19, well, what is it, August, August 19th. 19. Yes, August 19th.